Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video to the channel. So in this video, we're going to go through the wiki's combat money-making methods for May. Can't believe we're now in May and then another combat money-making video. Thank you guys for your support and all your questions in the comments. This series is what we do once a month, and we do it once a month for skilling and combat. And basically what we do is go through the wiki's money-making guide, talk through all the methods and any advice or things that I want to add on to it as well, just to give ourselves a big analysis view of all the money-making methods currently available, along with things which are probably good for the time being, an easy, nice like win for a money-making method as well, and just good ways for you to have variety in your gameplay and ways for you to make money in the long run in RuneScape 3. Now, don't get me wrong, this is pretty much us talking through the um, different money-making methods, but I try and include any tips or tricks which I've learned from doing these, and also we do pick out videos from this list to do in the following month. But any comments or suggestions to improve this series going forward, please make sure to drop them in the comment section and I'll make sure to read and reply. Thank you guys for your support as always. It's been uh, quite the year for the channel. So let's get started as always. And again, with the combat one, quick disclaimer as always, the top ones will always be the top tier of PVM. But as you can see, we've had some nice little transitions and movements. Zami is still there pretty much at the forefront. It's 114 mil per hour. Telos is still here with 2449 and Rage as well with 103 mil per hour. And Raziel is still there with 92.5 and AOD 4 man 88 mil. These are pretty much the four big ones, the big hitters really. And it's quite weird to see that some of as old as Telos is still pretty much up there as well with some newer bosses as well and still holding its own against it as well. As we go further down, we go to just basically like lesser and rages or bigger teams for AOD and Zami. Zami is still doing very well in terms of its profit. Barrow's Rise of the Six at 63.5 mil there. We have Zuck Hard Mode at 63.4 mil. Really good thing to learn is Zuck. And it's something which I've got more time to do now is I'm going to try and get into it and learn it as well. And also get the cape. Um, I don't have the um, hybrid cape, so I'd like to do that in the future. Ripper Demons in the Wilderness, 61.5 mil. The video will come at one time, um, but I just want to make sure that I can demonstrate it and do it correctly. In a minute, I'm not the best, and I want to show you guys how to do it properly, so I'm not doing it until I'm at a point where I'm comfortable. So, like 53.4 mil, we have the Arch Glacial Hard Mode Streaking at 52.7. Vorkap is 50 mil, which I still find quite hard to believe. That boss really hasn't caught the imagination or very much sort of secured its place as a, as a kind of boss, in my opinion. I did a couple after the quest, not been since. Maybe we'll go back at some point. Two man AOD, a few psychopaths, 50.4 mil. AD1, Temple of Amanishi, is 49.4 mil. Blood Reavers, still going strong, 46.1 mil. Solid, easy. As you can see here, not really about high requirements as well. It's just time and having like the binding contracts available. If you do do any of your touch conferences and you get binding contracts, that is profit and you need to see it as profit as well. Rack shot, 44.4 mil, 999 arranges at um, Telos is 43.2. Water fiend binding contracts, 42.2 mil. Again, water fiends even easier than um, what the Reavers are. A little bit less, but still 42.2 mil per hour is just crazy. But that really, really is. 15 ranges at Zami is 42 mil Kerapak, solo hard mode, 41.6. Araxi, 40.5 mil. We will be doing a video of Araxi very soon. Normal mode Zuck, 40 mil. We have ED2 at 37. And again, this is still like a, a decent-ish tier of PVM. But you can still see the binding contracts can still pull a similar like GP per hour. Which just shows you how good of a method it really is. And especially when the components for a binding contract go cheap. That's when you need to get in and get those items bought and stored in your bank for a sort of a further on time anyway. So the first real sort of monster is Moss Golems, killing it with magic. That's just under 30 mil per hour, 29.3. Shadow Reef ED3 solo is 26.9 mil, but that must include the Ambassador kill as well. And um, there's no way that's just pure ED3. Solo Virago for the absolute psychos is 24.6 mil. And again, like it just shows you how outdated Virago has become. Virago is such an intense solo boss for it. It's only pulled 24.6 mil. It's just not worth it. Like People should go and do the top tiers, and I'm sure they are capable of doing the Rizals and the rest of them as well. Moss Golems with Melee, 23.3 mil. Trio Hard Mode Carrot Pack is 23.3. Dagonoff Kings, normal, high level mode. Again, pretty much high stats, just under 23 mil per hour. That's solid, and I think for your sort of everyday player who doesn't do the highest tier of PVM, that's like the baseline of what they should be looking to make. But Dagonoff Kings, really good boss, really good profits, really good boss log to do. Binding contracts is twice for GP per hour it is, which just goes to show like how good that is. But don't get me wrong, I don't expect people to go and do binding contracts all the time. It's something which gets monotonous. You want a bit of sort of variety, and PVM is where the variety is. 
But Dagon of Kings, solid as ever. Really, really good. Uh, EDT, ED2 Duo, just under 20 mil. Killing next, 18 mil. Still pretty much where it always is. Really good boss. Um, that's possibly a boss log I'm looking to do in the future because the next pet is one of the best. Uh, Nightmares on Task, 17.5 mil. Glacors at 17.2. And this is where we're starting to click into like the next tier down in PVM. PVM slash high tier slayer, which is around the sort of like the 15 to 20 mil mark. And it's just solid GP. Like Killing Glacor, 17.2. Lava Strike Worms, again, solid. It's because from the Syrian Ashes drop, 17 mil. High level Greg, 16. Bulbous Creatures, 14.7. We've got the Rex Matriarchs, 14.3 more there. Calgarians, 14.3. Again, due to binding contracts. The other Rex Matriarchs, 14 mil. Mid-level DKs is 13.8 mil. And again, we're going to do a little bit of an adventure on the Bond account. See how that does against the Dagonoff Kings. We've got Vine Crawlers. We've got the Calfight King Solo at 12 mil. Again, do other things. There's better things to do with your time if you're capable of doing that. Twin Furies, 11.5 mil. Again, that's due to the essence price being a bit lower than normal. We have Corrupted Scorpions on Slayer Task. Really good Slayer Task, 10.7 mil there. That is massive for like a Slayer Task. Uh, Killing Wyverns, 10.5 mil. Capsaris, 9.9, .9, just under 10 mil there. Again, video going to be coming about that at some point. Sacred Oil, just under 10 mil. Still very solid and very good. It's been 10 mil for about a year now. Really good method. Hellwit, high level, just under 10 mil, 9.8 mil there. Crystal Shapeshifters, 9.7. Rune Dragons, 9.5. Vindicta, 9.2. Really dragged down a bit by the Dragon Bones and a couple of other sort of drops it has, like Diamonds and Sharks. Because they've gone so low, it sort of dragged Vindicta a bit lower than the other ED2 bosses. High level Barrows, 9.2 mil. Still been around that sort of price for a little while. It can go as high as 11, but 9.2 mil is still solid for Barrows. Court Beast, 9.1. Solid AFK. Soul Gazers, 8.5 mil. Edemus, 8.4. Edemus can spike depending on the Blood Shard price, so keep an eye. If you see the Blood Shard price trending on the Grand Exchange and going upwards, that means that Edemus will start to become a decent Slayer task again, and I love killing Edemus. It's my favourite Slayer task. Uh, Unspeakable Horrors, 8.1 mil. We have the final Rex Matriarch at 7.4. So we've got two at roughly like 14 mil, and then this one at 7.5. Enemies with melee, which I do think is still the best method to kill him, 7.1 mil. Eret, solid Slayer task, 7 mil per hour, really, really good. Frost Dragons, down a bit, 6.7 mil. I still think it can be higher, um, and I do think it's uh, something to go and try on a lower level account. Really good XP apparently to train on, so we'll give that a try. Krill is still 6.7 mil, solid. Abyssal Demons will always be really good, 6.4 mil there, very, very good. Mammoths, 6.1, bit of a niche slayer task, but still a little bit of profit. Eyeweb Scouts, 5.5 mil, really good for like your melee training. Absol Demons with Necromancy, 5.4 mil. Griffalo Plines, 5.1. Criara, 5 mil. Um, that's really because the armor's tanked so much. I think it will still be very much decent. And if you wanted to do like a nice little boss log, especially early in an account, really good one to go and train your stats on. One of the things one of my friends did for a while was if they needed to harvest a lot of armadillo components, they will just go and kill Armadil with Armadil armor equipped. And that way they're basically replenishing their own components. And they're just AFK in range. And in the meantime, just getting some range XP. Absol Demons with melee and Death Note Relic, 4.8 mil. Magister, 4.7 mil. Nice little boss log once the prices are up. Violords and Violadies, one of the best overall training spots for prayer and like general XP. Really, really good. And pulling in 4.3 mil per hour as well is pretty mad. Uh, Farming Jad is 4.2 mil per hour. Salawa Akers is 4.1. Really good for your melee XP. Love that task. Really good. So I meant to Demons just under 4 mil per hour. Killing Mirari's just under 4 mil per hour. Musper, again, maybe a slight task to put in rotation. Really high on Alkables, not too hard to kill. Pretty much AFK. 3.9 mil there. Adamant Dragons, 3.8 mil. Killing the Abomination, 3.7. We've got Camel Warriors at 3.5. Gano's 3.5, Gargoyles 3.4, Dark Bees 3.3. Again, three very solid, quick tasks as well. And three tasks you can force with your Slayer Mask. So Slayer Mask's really good there to just get like, you could probably nail all these tasks in an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes. Spoken Light Hills just under three more per hour. We've got Torses at 2.8. We've got Hand Cannoneers at 2.8 mil per hour as well. Killing Chickens, our first one of our absolute base requirements, 2.3 mil per hour. Straight off tutorial. That is your base level. Killing guards now is 2.2 mil per hour. Killing guards is almost as much GP as QBD, which is just crazy. 
Um, and that's more than Spiritual Mages, more than Vindicta. It's more as killing an alt with Krill as well, which is just crazy. Um, Adolescent White Wolves, 1.6 mil. And then finally, our absolute base limit is killing rabbits, which is 1.4 mil. However, just showing here, like, the difference between rabbits and chickens is just under a mil per hour, which goes to show, like, check the margins on the things you're going to do before you go and do it. You can make a mil extra an hour just by killing chickens as opposed to rabbits. Just a little bit more effort in doing it, but it's going to wield you like a lot more profit in the long run as well. But uh, yeah, so that is combat money making methods for this month. There's still plenty around. Slayer still seems pretty solid as well. And it's just a good thing for us to go through once a month. And as well as that, we'll go through once a month and just find out things to include in our video list for the following month as well. But any comments, any suggestions for things you want to change up in the future, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.